Uh, okay, so I just got back from the gym, um, and I made a video about uh, a video I just watched. It was called uh, "Dear." It was called "Dear White People," or no, 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 it was even worse. It was called "Dear White Guys." And it's, and you know, I'm a white guy, so I figured, hey, I can, I'm allowed to chime in on this one. And I watched the video, and uh, first of all, I was not offended. I don't get offended by like anything really, which is a good thing because I feel like I can make a video about something like this. I can kind of, you know, I can watch a video, I can take a step back, go to the gym, get my testosterone pumping, and then we can make an awesome video about it. But basically, the gist of the video was it was like a bunch of people. Uh, of different races. Oh my god, they have people that are white in the video. I guess they have to be right. They had like black people, white people, other minorities, and they're basically giving white men uh, a New Year's resolution. And essentially what they were saying was, hey, um, you know, if you're not a white man, being in this country has never really been that great. I think what they meant to say is that if you're not a white Anglo-Saxon Protestant man, but now I'm expecting people on MTV to take a History 2 course, which is just ridiculous. Now the point of this video isn't to defend white guys, okay? Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think about white men. The point of the video is that I want to address something that I think is happening underneath the surface um, that is a lot more important. Because on a surface level, I don't think anyone's gonna hear what these people have to say and even give enough of a damn to give a damn. But when I was watching that video, I think what they were trying to do, I think the people who made that video, what they were trying to do was like, A, I think they were trying to be funny, which I was just, I was like nails on a chalkboard if you're trying to be funny, but I think what they were also trying to do was create like a healthy conversation for some social issues that are happening in our society right now. But the problem is these are people at MTV trying to do it. And people at MTV are not exactly the brightest bulbs on the Christmas tree. And were they funny? No. Did they create a healthy conversation? No. All they really did with this video was create a lot of drama and a lot of argument between a lot of people who have not read the book Crucial Conversations. And you're probably wondering, what's the book Crucial Conversations about? That's my fucking point. But what I notice about most people when they get into arguments, especially ones that are super like emotionally charged, they don't tend to want to listen to the other side. I mean, you, you might think you're listening to the other side, but you're really not. You're just waiting for them to shut the hell up. That way you can start talking again. And so the problem is that when you have racial issues in a Country, right and you're having people argue and they're not really listening to the other side's point of view that's the actual issue because now you have a video called dear white guys it's coming out and you basically have two arguments like two two really strong arguments on either side because you have one side that's basically saying hey white guys should actually listen to this video because a you guys never get discriminated so you're not allowed to be offended and B we're making good points and the other side is saying if this video was literally about any other group of people besides white men, it would be considered totally racist. And I get it where people are coming from when they say, hey, white men never get discriminated on in society, okay? Stop being so sensitive. You don't have to tell me that, okay? I don't even give a shit. I'm just making a point for people that don't have a voice or aren't good at expressing these kinds of things. That's the only reason I'm making this video. But the only problem with the argument about how white men have never been discriminated is that this video is literally discriminating white men. So arguing that white men have never been discriminated against is literally, that argument is literally destroyed by the video that you're trying to defend. And then the counter argument to that would be, um, look, it's just it's just one video. It's really not that big of a deal, and other people have had to deal with way worse than that. And I would agree with that. One video is not a big deal. However, that one video is basically like one grain of sand being dropped into a jar. It, like, one grain of sand, not a big deal. Like, one instance, like one video, isn't a big deal, but when it's all these little things that add up over time, it becomes literally like this new version of discrimination that like I've that, that's like never been seen before. Because if you discriminate against the minority, you're a racist. At least you can call them out on being a racist and society will back you up. But now, imagine you're a person and you get discriminated on, but if you call them a racist, society's like, no, shut up, deal with it. Basically, imagine being a minority in the 60s. The point is, every group of people have problems, okay? But just because one group of people have bigger problems and more important problems, doesn't mean the people with smaller problems don't matter. Like, I could care less, but there are other white people who do care, and so I'm gonna speak up for them the same way I've spoken up for other groups of people in the past, even if I'm not in that group. But like, what I've started to notice is that it's like, it's like actually cool to bash white men. And then, anytime that a white guy complains, like, yo, you're kind of bashing all white men, that's not really cool. What you do is you pull the, hey, you've never been discriminated against card, so like, they have to shut up. Personally, I think too many people are pussies anyway, and just need to get some tougher skin. Like, I don't care, if someone wants to bash white guys in front of me, go for it, I'll, I'll back you up. I can take it, but I can also dish it back to anyone of any race, doesn't matter, 
I'm equal. And if they want to call me a racist, I'll just go back and call them a hypocrite. But like, the thing is, literally every single time any of this has ever happened, we just laugh about it and joke about all the problems that we all have. And it's never really gotten to that point because I don't associate myself with sensitive people. But what's interesting is that every single time I've ever been in one of those situations, no one's ever called me a racist. I've never had that happen because I actually listen to what other people's problems are. But what I always try and point out is that if you're going to tell me that white guys are up here and that you're down here and that if you think discriminating white men is going to bring them down to here so that everyone's equal, that's not actually what you're doing. You think you're doing this, but in reality, you're doing this. And every single time I've told someone that, they've completely agreed with me. Like, you might think it's only bad if you segregate a minority because they're a minority, but if you segregate a majority, like if you only attack white men, it's okay because they're the majority. But that's how a simple-minded person thinks, because if I push you away, or if you push me away, it doesn't make a difference because we're more divided now than we were a minute ago. And what I'm really trying to point out is that it doesn't matter what side of the argument you're on because I take a step back and I see something much deeper happening, which is that both sides are gonna argue why they have it hard. And when you argue why you have it hard, the other side sees that as you not acknowledging that they have problems too. And when that happens, that makes the divide bigger and bigger. And since social media got popular, this has become more and more trendy. And so these messages that people think are going to bring people together are actually dividing people at a faster rate than has ever happened in society. And that's my theory, that's, that's this is my own theory, about why the country is pretty much more divided than it's ever been before. You can even be 100% right in every argument that you're making, but it's not about what you're saying, it's about how you're saying it. The thing is, I think it's so easy to think exactly how you're feeling but it becomes like so much harder when you have to like verbally express it and then after you verbally express it You have to hope that other stupid people don't misinterpret what you're trying to say Which is that good luck. That is just impossible Like I think I did a good job expressing what I said But someone's gonna misinterpret it and even if no one misinterprets it the point is no one's gonna spread this video Like are you gonna share this video on Facebook? I highly doubt it because odds are you just don't care enough or you don't think other people care enough and I I couldn't disagree more. I think this is a very important topic. Maybe you do care though because you've already watched this far into the video. So if you want, please feel free to share this video on Facebook. If you're watching this video on YouTube, give it a thumbs up down below. Leave a comment. What are your thoughts? Feel free to subscribe. We make videos like this every single week. That's really all I've got to say on it. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Peace.